Welcome to A Great Cooker. I'm Sophronia. The uh, frozen food sagas, sagas continue here. I made some frozen shrimp in the Instant Pot yesterday, and it was great. I will link to that. And I've just been feeling seafood. So today for dinner, I am making some great catch tilapia fillets. But as you can see, they're in the freezer and frozen solid, which if you watch my channel, that's not really a surprise to you. But by the time we're all done, these will be moist and delicious and cooked all the way through in our air fryer. And it won't matter that they started out frozen. This uh, frozen tilapia is gonna come together very quickly. As a matter of fact, I only need a couple of ingredients. And to me, what takes the most time, um, and is my least favorite, is just removing each individually frozen filet from the plastic. I mean, that to me is the most time consuming part of this. And thanks to the air fryer, it's pretty easy after this. I'm gonna add some lemon juice, bottled lemon juice. I'm just gonna pour in a bit. You can also use real lemon, or honestly, this is optional. You don't have to use lemon, but I think it adds a good flavor to the fish. And then you could just use one other ingredient. Like if you have a, this is a, if you watch my other seafood videos, you know this is what I use, Old Bay seasoning, but any kind of seasoning salt or seafood seasoning salt, will work. And really that's just two ingredients, this and this. But to uh, further enhance the flavor, I'm also gonna add some onion powder and some garlic powder. to make sure that all the fish I mean it's frozen solid so this is a bit tricky but it doesn't have to be perfect just trying to make sure it all get got in the lemon juice and that it all has some seasoning on it I'm going to put a piece of perforated parchment paper in my drawer in my air fryer basket so that the fish cooks evenly and quickly, I do not recommend um, stacking this fish on top of each other. I think it would be fine if, you, if it touches. I think I can let it overlap a little bit, maybe. Um, I'm gonna leave a link to my air fryer, or to my Instant Pot frozen fish that I cook, because you can literally just stack the fish on top of each other and cook it all at the same time. I don't know, I'm gonna add just a bit more Old Bay, just for good measure. This kind of spotty, spottily coated. And then I'm also going to add some paprika for flavor and for color too. Makes it look pretty. Now, yes, this fish is frozen, but it's also thin and the air fryer gets very hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this in. I'm going to, to pick 370 degrees and I strongly recommend, depending on how hot your air fryer is, that you start checking on your fish at the 10 minute mark. Because believe it or not, it might be done in just 10 minutes. That beep means it's been a full 10 minutes. So let's take a look. I have my uh, handy thought. Th <laughs> I have my handy dandy 
thermometer. Let's see what we're working with. Ooh, it looks pretty. Let me see, this piece looks pretty thick. And, oh, can you see? Where we're looking at right now is, look at that, it already made it to 145 degrees, actually more than that. Let's look at this one, this one's pretty meaty too. And this one, also, Look at that, it's done. So that was just 10 minutes. Here it is, we're gonna look at the inside of this fish so that we can confirm that it is indeed moist and tender. Now the, t the thermometer let us know that it was cooked all the way through. But let's have a look at the inside of it. It actually broke down the center when I was getting it out of the air fryer. Oh my goodness, look at that. Can you see that? Bring it closer. Can you see? There's actually like juices in there and it's just flaking apart, as you can see. And that was from frozen. It actually took less time to cook it in the air fryer than it does to thaw it. So there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more cooking from frozen recipes in the air fryer and I'll see you next time.